what is going on guys if you want to use your phone as maybe a secondary camera wirelessly the reason why i say wirelessly because there's some other options of using it as an hmi camera and as you can see i already have my iphone connected right now because i was using it in obs kind of connected if you want to see the full video i'm gonna link it down below how to do that but let's say you don't want to be messing with cables and you want to have it connected wirelessly i'm gonna show you how to do that and it's gonna be super easy because all you need is actually an application called i ryan let me go ahead and actually show you so you're gonna go to google and type in i ryan webcam all right hit okay and then it's gonna be the first one that's going to show up here and of course as you can see you have a version for windows and then you have one for mac and then you're gonna have the same application in your phone so if you're using an iphone or android phone it doesn't matter go to your app store google play right just type in i ryan same thing webcam and get it and download it all right and you should be good to go same thing go to your computer and then go ahead and actually download it once you have it installed because i'm gonna have mine what you need to do is we're gonna go ahead and actually add it to obs so now i have the app open on my phone okay and i'm gonna go to obs now so now we can switch to obs and then i'm gonna go add a new scene and then we're gonna call it iphone wireless we're gonna hit okay and then i'm gonna go to the plus sign here on under sources and we're gonna add a video capture device and then we're gonna call it wireless iphone okay and then we're gonna hit okay let's say i wireless iphone 2 and we're gonna hit okay now for this time there's one thing that you need to do before you connect anything so if i go ahead usually you would see it i ryan should show up here among our video sources all right however it's not showing up what we need to do here is we need to go to windows our computer and type in i ryan so as you can see it's gonna show up right here i ryan webcam all right i'm gonna click on it launch the application and as you can see it's actually showing the image from my phone right away easy right so now i can go to the menu here for the video format i can go ahead and actually choose 1920 by 1080 i can even choose 4k if i wanted to i can get a 4k video out of it which is amazing all right so let's go maybe that's not go 4k skip it full hd as you can see there's actually a big difference all right now i can go back to obs so we already have our scene so we go to sources hit the plus sign go to video capture device call it wireless iphone and then hit ok and then from here i can choose the device and this time it's gonna be i ryan webcam and then boom like magic boom the image is right here you don't need to do much here you can use resolution type device default if you want if you want to lock 1080p you can go ahead and actually hit 1080p uh right here so resolution type custom resolution 1920 by 1080 fps you can go ahead and actually use 30 frames per second and the rest should remain the way it is just hit okay and then boom as you can see we have our iphone image coming through and i can actually through the app you can switch if you want to go use the rear camera for my case it's just showing nothing but this is what it is so i would have it usually in front of me or if i want to use it to show behind the scenes of my studio i can do that as well but as you can see it looks actually really really good and i look amazing all right so again guys if you're enjoying this video make sure i hit that subscribe button my name is sam you're watching live production tips and tools the last thing that you need to do is actually to make sure you add some audio whatever you want to add i would actually advise you to get a usb microphone or a microphone like this you can just connect through an interface or just use a usb microphone going straight into your computer and actually do the whole setup 
boom or maybe you have another camera that you can actually switch from from camera one to camera two whatever you do with this but as you can see it works well no problem it may drop time to time again this is wireless so it may happen but it's kind of stable i've used it before and it's kind of stable but i wouldn't advise you to use it as a main camera if you like streaming because i wouldn't say wireless and never trust wireless 100 percent if you want to connect your phone now using an actual cable something like an hmi cable into a capture card or something like the ATEM mini that's gonna be 100 reliable especially if you want to use your phone as the main camera for your streaming i have another video that i made actually using two different apps actually two videos one using filmic pro and another one using another kind of cheaper applications that will allow you to connect your phone using an hdmi cable and i'm gonna link both videos down below and i mean they should be here actually and if you want to check them out Go ahead and enjoy and I will see you there.